Welcome to my channel Creative Art. I am Nilima and today we are going to do coloring on a sculpture painting. This is the same sculpture painting we made in our previous video and in this video I am going to show you how you can magnify the beauty of the same sculpture painting just by adding and using few acrylic colors on it. So let's quickly check out all the materials now friends. To beautify this painting, I'm going to make use of two very simple things. The first is acrylic color. For the flowers, I'm going to use a neon pink and fresh tint color. For the leaves, I'm going to use a neon green, a light green and light blue colors. Other than that, I have made use of a few glitters which are called pixie dust glitters. I bought them from my local store but you can also buy them online now and a few paint brushes. So here I have made use of two round hair brush number three and number one and one flat hair brush of number one. For my base color, I have made use of two special pigments. The first one is Silver 20. It's also named as Fabricryl Acrylic Color and Gold 08 from the same Fabricryl Acrylic Color. Though these are named as acrylic colors, but in actual, they are fine glittering pigments which you have to mix with medium 2 which is named as a blender 28 from the same fabricryl and combination of these two things which will create a beautiful color which you can clearly observe on our base we have used a little bit of gold and on flowers we have used the silver color the list of all these materials are mentioned in the description box below from where you can buy them online so let's start the video now friends. First of all, let's start from the base. And for that, first of all, I'm going to use these two colors. These are actually powdered pigments. The first one is gold 08 from Fabricryl and the second one is silver 02. As these two are powdered pigments, so we need to mix a binder medium which is called binder 28 medium 2, same from Fabricryl. It is mixed with the binder medium to form a liquid color and that is what we are going to use for our base. So now I'll show you how you can create this color. First of all, add just a little bit of golden pigment. I'm using the same cap of the golden color and then add just a few drops of binding medium in this way. Now using a stick or a paint brush, give it a gentle and nice mix till the complete pigment gets mixed up in the binder in this way. So now you can see how beautiful the golden color looks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my same flat hair brush. Just tap tap tap. Take some golden color in my brush and give the base a slight touch of gold in this way. I don't want the gold to look very heavy so I'm just using a little bit of pigment in my brush. Take a little bit of gold pigment and spread it on my base in this way. I'm especially applying the gold on the part where I have used yellow because gold looks so much good with yellow as base. I feel it looks good. Okay, you can randomly see the golden tint. Now, in the same way I have mixed silver color and using my flat hair brush, I'm going to give just a few gentle tappings on few petals of the flower. Not all the part, but just a few. And then using my brush, I will blend them in a very good way. I just want just a little bit of a silver shine to be visible but it should not fade your flower. In the same way we'll do for this flower also just a little bit of silver touch on one corner side. The same I have done on this flower. And this part. Okay, I think this much is enough. 
Now friends, after using the golden and silver pigments, I'm going to start coloring and first of all, we're going to start coloring by our flowers and for that, I'm going to make use of a neon pink pericryl acrylic color and a small paintbrush. So first of all, let's take just a little bit of neon pink in my paintbrush and I'll start from one edge of the flower, coloring it just a little bit of neon pink then each time i'll take just a little bit of water in my paintbrush and bring this neon pink color down in this way we're not going to color the complete petal we're just going to shade it in a brighter color if needed use more on the edges in this way that is just enough Let's use it from here. In the same way, I will be coloring each petal. And as you can see, this time I have started from one edge of the flower to one corner. Each time I'll wash my brush, take just a little bit of water in my paintbrush and spread and bring the color upwards. If you find that your peach color is very dark, you can also use just a little bit of cream to smoothen out the effect. Okay, so in the same way you can color the uh, rest of the two flowers. Now I'm going to show you to color this bud using just a little bit of neon pink in my paintbrush and spreading it around using some water okay so this is how our bud looks now now after coloring all the flowers this is how beautiful they look so now let's start coloring the leaves I have already tried coloring this leaf and these two and finally I have decided to do a shading using a neon green, light blue and light green colors. So I'm going to use all these three colors depending on the leaves. First of all, I'm going to use just a little bit of light green in my paintbrush and start coloring from here. If you're not comfortable doing shading, you can also use just one color. Now I'm using the neon green color. Also from the back side. Clean my brush and then I'll use the light blue color. So start doing it from the tip of the leaf to downwards in this way. Wipe your brush again and gently start mixing it with the neon green color in this way. Each time for shading, wipe your brush a little bit. And finally, this is how it looks. Do the same with all the other leaves. Start with the light green. Place it inside the leaf in this way. You can also start from outside. Then use neon green, color the middle part, mixing it with light green first. And finally, using light blue. So in the same way, I'm going to color the rest of the leaves. First starting with light green, then neon green, and then finally using the blue. Now in the same way, I will be coloring the leaves of these buds. First of all, I'll do it completely light green color. And then I'll use neon green for some shading. And I'll use just a little bit of neon green and do the shading. In the same way, you can also color these stems, which we have made using the ceramic cone liner. I'm just giving it a highlight color using neon green. I'm just giving it a highlight color using neon green. Now I'm going to color this part and finally at the edges I'm going to use neon green in this way. 
in the same way you can also color the center of the flower just giving it a highlight now friends i'm thinking to color this butterfly using just a little bit of light blue later on i just thought to add some glitters so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use just a little bit of mod podge place it from the inner side in this way then i'm going to use a blue color glitters and place some glitters on the wings now again i'm going to use a little bit of mod podge from the outer side of the wing in this way so this friends was a absolutely unplanned step which i'm doing so you may find these glitters and their names in the description box below then place just a little bit of black glitter and then with this i will let it get dry and then i will brush off the extra glitters from the butterfly so now finally friends this is how beautiful our sculpture painting looks when we have finally completed coloring it you can clearly observe how popping the colors look just by the use of neon acrylic colors when i was unable to decide the color of butterfly i did use my pixie dust fine glitters and this is one of the best things to do when you really get confused in coloring part so friends this is the final look of our sculpture painting do tell me in the comments below how did you like my videos friends and if you do like my videos please do like share and subscribe my channel thank you for watching